Lake Garda is the largest lake in Italy. It is located in the north, about halfway between Venice and Milan. Glaciers formed this alpine region at the end of the last ice age. The lake is a major tourist destination with a number of exclusive hotels and resorts along its shore. There are more than a thousand Lake Garda hotels, hostels, various residences and holiday villages, huge camping sites and beds and breakfasts. On a little headland of the Veronese side of the lake, on the slopes of Mount Baldo, Malchusini was built around a fortress that belonged to the Della Scala family of Verona. Near the castle and Palazzo Capitani, with its small harbour, little squares and streets full of shops, bars and typical restaurants, Malchusini preserves its magic charm. Tourism is the main activity here. There are more than a hundred hotels, 300 buildings, villas and landlords, and 12 camping sites. This is why Malchusini is one of the most elegant and well-equipped holiday destinations on Lake Garda. The summer climate is more temperate than the low area of the lake, allowing you to go for walks and excursions inland and on Mount Baldo, which is known as Europe's botanic garden for its plant species. There are three principal tourist activities for visitors to Malchusini. Wander the town's lanes, catch the boat to Riva, Limoni or other lake resorts, or take the cable car up to the heights of Mount Baldo. The town is a lovely place to stroll for an hour or so, with picturesque medieval lanes winding up the slope from the lake. There are pretty little squares, cafes and restaurants. The main harbour is typical of Lake Garda, small, attractive, filled with boats and lined with cafes. Malchusini's most striking feature as you approach over Lake Garda is its historic castle, the Castello Scaligero, which is also the town's main tourist attraction. The building takes its name from the Della Scala family, who owned it and made alterations in the 13th and 14th centuries. The castle was used, restored and adapted for military purposes up until the 19th century. There are great views from the ramparts and the chance to climb up the tower and gaze down at Malchusini's huddled rooftops. A cableway runs from Malchusini up to the high mountain ridge behind the town, Monte Baldo, climbing from 100 meters to 1,760 meters. This is a great excursion, particularly on a hot day, as temperatures are lower and the breeze cooler than by the lake far below. In winter, this is a base for mountain sports. Once the snows have melted, energetic walkers and mountain bikers equipped with maps will find challenging routes to enjoy, while the less athletic can stroll along the easy paths. To the left, the north as you exit the cable car station, a panoramic path leads along the flower-strewn ridge to a lovely viewpoint, about 20 minutes easy walk away. In the other direction, the footpath is comfortable to follow for an hour to the south, with good views, attractive terrain and a choice of routes. Malchusini is one of the principal stops for the ferries which run up and down Lake Garda. The other northern lake resorts, Limone and Riva del Garda, are easy and relatively quick to reach, and you can buy a day ticket for this part of the lake. Limone is a popular tourist resort on the shore of Lake Garda in northeast Italy. It lies at the mountainous northern end of Lake Garda and rocky cliffs rise up behind the waterfront town centre. Limone is a picturesque place to stay and a good base for exploring and enjoying the lake, although summer holidaymakers should be prepared for crowds in the little historic lanes. The heart of the old town is the little harbour, the Porto Vecchio. From here, Narrow lanes lined with tourist shops wind along the shore and up the slopes behind. There are pleasant and picturesque waterfront terraces and plenty of places to eat and drink while admiring lake views. Following paths to the north of the harbour, you leave the hustle and bustle behind and past scattered hotels, peaceful cafe terraces, abandoned lemon groves and little swimming beaches. In the other direction is the more modern part of Limone, 
a wide waterfront promenade, car park, and many more hotel developments. Riva del Garda is a bustling Italian town which doubles as a tourist resort located at the northern end of Lake Garda. This is the dramatic end of the lake, with mountains rising on either side, and Riva sits comfortably on the shore with a backdrop of lake, valley and hills. The town was part of Austria until 1918, and there is still something sedate and un-Italian about the streets and architecture. Nowadays, it is in the Italian region of Trentino Alto Adige, within the province of Trento. After Desenzano, Riva is the second largest town on Lake Garda, and it has a very different atmosphere from the other lake resorts, simultaneously alive, yet stayed. Riva del Garda has one or two actual sites, but mostly it is a pleasant base where tourists can stroll along winding streets and relax in waterfront squares. The town's main lakeshore area is made up of a harbour, a park and a beach, so there is a variety of promenading on offer. Visitors should also allow some time for exploring the rest of the historic centre, set just back from the lake and protected by the town's fortress. Still enclosed by the old town gateways, the heart of Riva is an atmospheric network of tall buildings and narrow lanes. One of Riva's most striking buildings is the Torre Aponale, a tall clock tower which dates to the 13th century. The tower is open to the public and climbing up the narrow steps is a good way to work off holiday ice creams. Opposite the waterfront there is a chain of cafes where you can indulge in that classic Lake Garda activity. Sitting with an ice cream or drink and watching the world go by. Wherever you choose to visit, Lake Garda is a holiday paradise. <laughs>